I want to show you something here. So, you know, I'm a lot quicker than that. But since Capella is guarding me, my guy is slowing down. So you saw that. That was an example. Uh, how slow I was there. Because I have like 99 speed or whatever. So next possession, hopefully it's like Jalen Brown guarding me. And watch how quick my character becomes. Here's a good example. Look how quick I am now. Look how quick I was. Yoink. Look how quick I am. But when goddamn Clint Capella is guarding me. Oh my god. What a prick, dude. When Clint Capella is guarding me, I just slow down. There we go. Triple double. And I lost the ball immediately. Oh my god, bro. Why are we going timeout? All right, we're up by 14. I got my triple double. This game's over. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this, my NBA career. Uh, last episode was a disappointing one as we lost our final game of the season to the Memphis Grizzlies, and it was a disappointing outcome. Uh, 97 to 102 was the final score. We were leaving, leading the game uh, by 12 with under five minutes left, and we end up losing. Uh, Cedric Lewis, valiant effort, did not shoot the ball well at all, though. 37 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, another 5 steal game, and a block with only 2 turnovers. Shot 13 for 32, not good. Uh, 3 for 11 from downtown, 8 for 8 from the free throw line. Uh, not a great showing, but good nonetheless. Low ball, play like garbage like usual. Jay Rich, 0 points. Larry Markin, 13 points on terrible shooting. 8 and 1 for 6, like, did not get much help. Tyus Jones was basically my only help along with Nick Richards. So we ended up dropping that game to the Grizzlies. And now, this is the playoff bracket. You probably can't see the top left. Uh, I will show you right there. It is the Blazers and the Clippers up in the top left. So as you see by the playing games, the 7 seeded Rockets lost to the 8 seeded Suns. So the Suns got that 7 seed. The Clippers end up knocking out the Lakers in the play-in game. You already know Clippers fans, Clippers fans are going nuts. And then the seven-seeded Rockets actually had eliminated the eighth seed, now eight seed, the ninth seed Clippers end up making it all the way to the playoffs, beating the seven-seeded Rockets, who made a trade for DeMar DeRozan in the regular season, but they came up short. I do think this team will be a top five seed next year. As we go to the East, you can see the Grizzlies lost their first playing game to the Sixers. The eight seed Sixers become the seventh seed. Uh, once again, they were the seventh seed last year and they made it to the second round. And the 10th seeded Celtics, they were, I think, the seventh or sixth seed at one point, fell all the way to 10, end up losing to the Hawks in the play in. And that leaves Memphis, Atlanta, and Memphis goes down to the hawks and the hawks make it to the playoffs once again and the grizzlies end up missing out on the playoffs or if you were to go to the standings actually you might be able to see from here oh no the so oh yeah the celtics are the 10th seed that's why as you can see the celtics there was a three-way tie celtics end up getting eliminated and the grizzlies who are only a game out of being safe from the playoffs they won that game against us but the bulls ended up winning their game uh, actually, no, they lost their game. So I guess the Grizzlies just came up short and they ended up getting the seventh seed and getting eliminated. As for the West, the Rockets were a game short of the Warriors. The Warriors ended up winning their last game, which caused the Rockets to stay at seven. Uh, the Suns end up beating the Rockets and the Lakers end up getting eliminated. Anyways, we are heading into this game against the Bulls. But first, Synergy 2K. Here it is. Here are all the stats. We did not get the win, so accept uh, invalid plus minus. Yeah, whenever it's negative, it's invalid. And there we go. Postseason round one. If we were to go to season two, regular season, those are all the stats. Uh, game seven right there. We are now going into the regular season. If you did not know, I can actually look at my stats from the playoffs. So round one, the sweep, I can see all my stats from those rounds. And if you did not know, in the conference finals, we were um, we lost in five games in the conference finals so it is now time for the playoffs against the bulls here we go round one hornets finally with home court advantage we only got home court advantage in round two because we were facing the seven seeded sixers we were the sixth seed last year jumped all the way up to the third seed with 54 wins improved our wins by nine and just an fyi I wasn't an all-star this season. I averaged, ended up averaging 28 points this year, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, and was not an all-star. And was like third in the MVP voting. So that's insanity. Next year, I definitely need to be an all-star. Larry Markin, though, start us off on a good note against your former team. 
with a three. But yeah, Cedric Lewis, not an all-star this year. Absolute snub. Was I don't understand how I wasn't. 28 points a game, near triple-double averages. Obviously, it wasn't that close to triple-double, but averaging 28, 8, and 8 with two steals, leading the league in steals, and you're not an all-star. Let alone, you. That's a, those are starter numbers, but that's not an all-star. As Aiden gets us an and one. Bro, Alonzo Ball's stats for this season are amazing. Nearly 20 points a game, 8 assists, 42% from 3. That man... That man, he also wasn't an all-star. Another snub. He was fantastic this year. Getting the Bulls back to the playoffs without DeMar and uh, Zach Levine. They did add Jalen Brown in free agency to try to uh, accelerate their rebuild, which it definitely worked. They ended up being the sixth seed as marketing misses. And they accelerated all right, adding a one of the best young pieces in the league in Jalen Brown. They drafted whoever number 11 is. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, he's been great for them uh, in the rookie of the year running. So, the uh, Bulls, they have draft capital, too, on top of it. So, good job. Round of applause for their front office. I just picked up my second foul, and I am now going to the bench with nine points. Not great as seeing that we're in a four-point game. Uh, yeah, no, not fantastic. We're still in a four-point game. We haven't scored in six and a half minutes. Yeah, that's about a change. Uh, no, 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 I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Max Drews is wide open. And I turned the ball over, Alonzo Ball, and I left that man wide open. He missed it, though. He missed it. So we're on a fast break again. Still haven't scored in, like, seven minutes. That is about to change as I go to the line. Aiden's got four assists. This man ain't a playmaker, but four assists is a lot. Zig like all timeouts. We've gone on a huge 9-0 run since I have came in the game. All right, I'm going to sub that. We ballooned this lead to about 12. Two minutes left in the first half. Uh, we'll see what our bench unit can do. And the Bulls are right back in it, only down by seven. Uh-oh. Give me that. Seventh rebound of the game. Trying to get this triple-double. It's, it's going to come down to the end of the game if uh, they're going to steal my rebounds as Laurie Markadon gets his total up, his point. He's having a good game. But, yeah, I'm going to get the assist. There's no doubt about that. It's the rebounds because I have two seven-footers in the paint that are just going to take those rebounds, not to mention also LaMelo Ball, who is a 6-7 point guard that's well aware and can average 8 rebounds a game if he wanted. As I get my 8th right there, Aiden didn't even jump for that one. So maybe it is possible. Lowry, don't take that shot. Let me set you a screen real quick, bud. Set you a screen. Kick, kick it back. You didn't kick it back, dude. I want to show you something here. So, you know, I'm a lot quicker than that. But since Capella is guarding me, my guy is slowing down. So you saw that. That was an example of uh, how slow I was there because I have like 99 speed or whatever. So next possession, hopefully it's like Jalen Brown guarding me. And watch how quick my character becomes because that's just a constant issue where if you're guarded by a big man or a center, 2K just slows your character down. It, I don't understand it. It makes no sense. Get that the hell out of here. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. I accidentally bounced past. Nope, give, 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 can, can you guys Can you guys not do that? Can, uh, never mind, I, I can't show you because my teammates are completely brain dead. Give me that. It went, of course, it goes right to his teammate. Oh, uh, Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to prove my point here if my teammates don't take stupid shots. As that's, uh, all right. Iso, Iso, who do I have on me? Uh, of course, I have goddamn uh, Clint Capella on me. All right, I got Jalen Brown on me now. All right, Jalen Brown on me. Watch, I'm going to do the same dribble moves. What, what is happening? No, maybe I am. Why am I doing those dribble moves? Those are not in my package. All right, I just wasted a whole possession there trying to prove that point. Lamel will shoot it. I'm giving you space, dude. And you miss. Here's a good example. Look how quick I am now. Look how quick I was. Yoink. Look how quick I am. But when goddamn Clint Capella is guarding me. Oh, my God. What a prick, dude. When Clint Capella is guarding me, I just slow down. It's all centers uh, as I reach for that one, and he uh, he caught me. He caught me lacking. Patrick Williams knocks it down. But yeah, it's so stupid, dude. This I don't know. No two K I that I've played has ever like punished you like the way this game punishes you. It doesn't make sense. They slow you down on defense on purpose. They slow you down when a big man is guarding you or a guy that supposedly cannot guard you. They slow you down. Like it's a lot of just punishment for no reason. For literally no reason. I'm going to sub that up by 14. Let's see what the bench unit can do. And up by 12. Yeah, this game is a toss-up. It's over. 
But I am only one rebound away from that triple double. And it's Jalen Brown misses. Nope, never mind. There we go, triple double. And I lost the ball immediately. Oh my god, bro. Why are we going timeout? All right, we're up by 14. I got my triple double. This game's over. 15 seconds left in this game one. We are up by 16 points. Uh, we're going to have to run some sort of play here as the time winds down. We're at seven. Uh, Finney Smith, take it. Wide open from downtown. It's, yeah, wow, we bricked the living hell out of it. Ty Jones, who cares? I mean, it don't matter. 91 to 107 is your final score. Hornets lead the series 1 0 with a dominant 16 point victory. Final box score Lewis, monster triple double. Missed one shot all night, and that was a three. 32 points, 12 rebounds, 16 assists. I remember that three, too. It was a contested one in the corner, and it was a good release, but it didn't drop. 32, 12, 16, two steals, two blocks. Uh, four turnovers, 11 for 12 on the day, 5 for 6 from downtown, 5 for 5. I, If I didn't take that 3, I would have had the perfect game. That's so that's so hard to look at. Marketing came out, 22 points, 8 rebounds, played fantastic. Did not shoot the 3 ball well, but honestly, in 2K, if you pass your teammates the ball for 3, they're not hitting it. So you, you, all you can do is the pick and roll. A Mel Ball, 13 points, 9 assists, shot horrific because it's Mel Ball. Uh, Aiton came back down to earth, 13 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals. Uh, he was fantastic last year in the playoff run. I think he averaged like 21 and 16. Uh, he only had 13. Nick Richards, he is a playoff performer, ladies and gentlemen. 11 points, 8 rebounds, 5 for 8. Not like he did last year. Last year he was averaging like 12 point 10 rebounds like that he was averaging like three blocks he was insane Ty Jones came out eight points five rebounds six assists way better than Terry Rozier was and no one else really did anything for the Bulls Jalen Brown only had 20 points and I held him the seven of 19 shooting uh Kobe White actually played really well off the bench dropping 18 points Mel Ball not LaMelo Alonzo Ball only 13 points literally nothing else to his name Capella had nine points uh, Valanciunas had eight off the bench. Other than that, not much contribution, especially from Austin Reeves, their sixth man. Uh, he did not do much here as he averaged 13 points on the year, only dropped six in this game. But that's going to be it for me. Uh, game two, next time. GG.